So how you doing? Uh, Chad, the operations manager here at Wirecrafters. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how we assemble our stock push bar door. So what we have here is we have the dead latch that goes in the door. And we put the screws in it, but we don't tighten it all the way down for starters. Leave it a little bit loose. I go back and tighten this up later. This push bar door on the face side has our standard key different cylinder. It actually screws into the dead latch itself. Get it tight, check it to make sure it's operational. Then we screw in the locking mechanism which is just a small screw, flathead screw, that holds that cylinder in place. Make sure it's working. Then I go back and tighten down my dead latch. Once it's tight, I check one last time to make sure it's operational. And we're good. Then we install our push bar. This is a right hand push bar and our stock push bar comes in in the right hand so nothing to change on the push bar. Press the tongue in and you notice the cam. You press the tongue in so it gets behind the cam. So the front end of the push bar has screws that comes with to lock it in place. On the back end, we use what's called our tech screws. They're just sheet metal screws, self drilling, self tapping. So you're gonna make sure your push bar is even. Measure the front end, I got about 34 and eighth. You have to slide the cover off the push bar, slide it forward so you get to the tech screw holes on the back. You get about 34 and an eighth. As you go, you make sure that stays locked in place. Put your cover back in place. Verify it's working. Then you've got screws that actually come with the push bar. They hold the front side in place. First one goes in easy, the second one you've got to engage the push bar to move the locking mechanism out of your way. And you tighten it, verify it's working. Same as the cylinder side, you got a locking mechanism here. Snug that down, I don't, I don't over tighten, I just snug it, make sure it stays in place. Then you put your end caps on. And the last thing I do, I check it one last time. You've got these little beveled pieces here that you just turn in the same direction the door is going to close. Put your face plate on.
Verify it's still working. And that's it.